As a critic, first and foremost, I am not inspired or triggered by fictions, but by the culture around me and by the texts, books, films, etc. around me. So I'm, I'd say I'm a reactive writer and thinker, which means that I, I have to um, re respond, you know, the things that I'm doing are a response to uh, the things that I'm seeing and reading and hearing. So I think probably inspired is not the right word. I'd say the right word is response, which means I'm responding to things I'm frustrated by or concerned with. I mean, the work I do depends entirely on new media and technology, on these forms that have to exist that then create the space for me to make a new kind of form or use a new kind of form. And as someone who started off writing and moved into other mediums, writing has always been about waiting for another form to materialize or dematerialize. So it's the end of a form, which then leads to a new kind of form. Without new media, there would be no impulse or way for me to work. So each project in my material trilogy, which Love Sounds is the last installment of, is form and site-specific, which means it uses one form and tries it, reconstitutes it in a different medium, sort of like, um, I don't know, moving furniture around in a room. You know, you want to kind of see where things could go if you were to move one part everything would kind of shift, or there'd be a new landscape, or there'd be a new construction. There'd be a new way of organizing space. So in this way, Love Sounds is the book I can't write, or the novel I want to write, but using a different medium, consisting of words, but not writing. Um, you know, when Kathy Acker said she had no imagination, her texts were a reaction to other texts. I really, that's really how I work as well, and that's why I'm really interested in using kind of already existing material, found footage, found texts, and kind of then, you know, forming a new kind of material with those existing um, works. And so one form really kind of points to or makes another one possible. I mean, the other question is, like, why write a book as an actual book? Why think of a movie as something you look at rather than listen to? I mean, I think Love Sounds is, is a book in a way, or it is a kind of memoir, or it is an autobiography, or it is a kind of archive of a, a story of a culture at a particular time. So Love Sounds is a reimagining of the book and the film and the love poem. Uh, its book is post-writing, post-representation, post-cinema. Mostly I resent writing and I'm always trying to find a way out of it. I never really wanted to be a writer, it's just something that I did from a very early age, but my kind of dream or fantasy was to be an artist, specifically a, a kind of installation video artist. And I was always interested in film and studying film, and but never really thought that I would make it. I mean, I just didn't really understand how it was done, despite the fact that I was somebody who was looking at cinema and looking at visual culture and writing about how it works or how I think it works. Uh, so that's strange that I then wouldn't think about how I might try to put it together myself in some way. I mean, as Bart famously put it, a creative writer is, is one for whom writing is a problem. So for me, Love Sounds was a way out of the problem of writing, a kind of goodbye to writing or some kind of retirement or breakup from writing. And that was hugely um, emancipatory for me. I think the projects that I enjoy the most, like Lacania, are ways where I can free myself up in some way from this kind of burden of particular conception of a, of a form or medium that I don't really know how to operate in. So I've never been able to stand in a single genre, media, or form, uh, and after a while I couldn't stay on the literal page either, which is was one of the reasons I, I, I wrote Love Dog, because I needed to kind of think about the book as a curated space, as a space that's both on and off the page, as a space that has a relationship to a lot of other different forms and mediums, music, uh, imagery, um, film, uh, text. So it's not about getting words down just for the sake of it. 
or being inspired and then having to have uh, some kind of romantic idea, conception of what I think inspiration leads to or produces. I mean, it's more of a kind of wrestling with something. And art for me is a way of being able to respond to something that we can't normally respond to. It's a way of, of giving something attention and uh, having a grip on something and letting something have a grip on you and really being able to explore that and go into that and investigate that and find a way of having an answer that you, you don't have the space to give otherwise. So I'm not interested in being creative, in quotes. I think creativity really comes from a space of work for me and investigation that's what makes something new. And, um, and I'm interested in making work with and about the materials of my time, even if it's to work against my time.